it's like either I'm not listening well enough, which is honestly most likely the case, or God is just not saying nothing right now, which honestly just makes seasons like this of uncertainty and ambiguity that much harder because I'm just here like, so am I here by myself? Am I left to fend for myself? Or are you working things together for my good, as it says in your word, and I just can't see it right now? You know, like which one, which one are we doing? Hey everyone, and welcome in. My name is Tulu, and on this channel, I make faith-based videos to encourage you as you fight the good fight of the faith daily. In today's video, I basically just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a life update as it relates to me living in Mexico City and navigating my new life out here. If you watched my video from a couple months ago, you know that I quit my job, I sold all my stuff, and I moved to Mexico, which is where I'm filming from right now. From day one, y'all, it's been a journey of pure faith, which honestly I expected it to be. And I can say that right now, I feel like I am the most dependent on God that I've ever been, which honestly is a good thing. But at the same time, it means that I feel the least in control over my life than I ever have, which can be a little scary sometimes. God has really been working on and strengthening my faith when it comes to depending on him in areas like finances and provision, which I'll be talking a little bit more about in the next video on my travel channel. And he's also been strengthening my faith when it comes to not allowing my feelings to determine how I see and feel about him, but rather, you know, trusting and relying on his character as described by his word and as seen from, you know, my history of walking with him to determine, you know, who I know he is if that makes sense. I'm currently in a season where I am asking God for quite a few things. I'm asking him for vision and direction for, you know, what comes next in my life. I'm asking him for provision, you know, to be able to sustain the new life I'm trying to build out here and all the expenses that come with it. I'm asking him to draw near to me as I desire to draw near to him, right? And y'all, I just feel like in this season when I'm doing a whole lot of asking, I just feel like God is not doing the same amount of answering. You know, if I'm being completely honest, it seems like God has been a little bit quiet. It's like either I'm not listening well enough, which is honestly most likely the case, or God is just not saying nothing right now, which honestly just makes seasons like this of uncertainty and ambiguity that much harder because i'm just here like so am i here by myself am i left to fend for myself or are you working things together for my good as it says in your word and i just can't see it right now you know like which one which one are we doing these are the times when i rely heavily on verses like psalms 46 1 which says god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble or like psalm 34 verses 4 to 5 which says i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed it might feel like god is either silent or absent or both right in whatever situation that we might be going through but the bible assures us that he is a very present help in trouble Okay, he is so intimately involved in our situation and he will never allow us to be ashamed. Sometimes I think about it and I'm like, dang, like it would be so embarrassing if I, you know, did something full of faith and trust that God would make a way, you know, like I did with quitting my job and moving to Mexico with very limited resources. I'm like, it would be so embarrassing if God, you know, didn't come through and didn't answer the prayers and left me stranded in a sense like not only would that be extremely embarrassing but i would feel ashamed 100 percent ashamed but that is exactly how i know that god is a man of his word y'all because in my 26 years of life god has never allowed me to feel ashamed every single time i have stepped out in faith God has always met me there and made a way such that not only was my faith strengthened by the situation, but also the faith of those around me too, when they saw what God had done in my life. He's just been way too good and 
that's exactly how I know that he is still working even now in my situation, even when it might not seem like it, okay? So I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's going to be testimonies coming very soon and I'm really excited to share them with you all. So that's what's been going on with me on a little bit more of a personal note, but also as it relates to finding a church and Christian community out here, I'll say it's been a little interesting. The churches I've attended out here, I feel like have had a little bit more of an older and more mature crowd, which is not a bad thing, but I am just used to being able to go to young adults groups and Bible studies with people my age. And so to not have that here is a little hard, but I am just seeing that as an opportunity to invite young adults to church, you know, as I meet more people out here and as I learn more Spanish too, I'll be able to attend more of these Spanish speaking services and hopefully meet more community like that as well. But yeah, I guess we'll just, we'll see how that goes in this new year. And it's definitely been a prayer point of mine. One thing I have already seen in my short time here so far and been reminded of y'all is our need to boldly share about our faith in Jesus. Everyone is searching for something, y'all, right? And many people are trying to fill the voids that they feel so deeply, but they don't know what to fill it with. There are so many people that they want to embark on a spiritual journey and they want to be more in tune with the spiritual side of things, but then they get stuck thinking that the answers are in the universe and the moon and the stars. But what they need to know is that the complete answer is in Jesus and Jesus alone, right? You have Jesus, you have everything you need. I've had a couple interactions out here where as I've been sharing about my faith in Jesus, I can see their desire to want to know him too and put their faith in him. And they might not, you know, say it expressly, they might not ask questions, but I can just see the desire from within, you know? And it makes sense, right? Like we were created to be in relationship with God. And so there's always gonna be a part of us that longs to be in relationship and put our faith in him, right? And so I've been asking God to open my eyes to see the divine opportunities that he is providing to share about him. And also to give me the courage, you know, to be able to invite people to church and to pray with people and to do whatever that, you know, he might need me to do, right? If you watched my last video, you know that we are committed to being the most connected, dependent on, and obedient to God that we have ever been. This is gonna require us to make ourselves fully available to God to be able to speak to us and use us in whatever capacity that he might need. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all when I say that my selfish humanity and my attitude and my personal preferences, you know, they often get in the way, right? And they often keep me from acting and responding in a way that shows that I'm in relationship with a holy and loving God. But my prayer for myself and for all of you is that our spirit would be way stronger than our flesh this year and that as we walk through the places and spaces that God has called us to shine his light in, that we really would reflect his glory and exact nature in the same way that Jesus did. I've had to remind myself that I am not just representing myself as I walk through these streets, right? But I'm representing God too. And every interaction I have with someone can either lead them closer to or farther away from him. While this can be really intimidating to think about, it just takes me full circle to our goal for the year, right? Which is to be the most connected to God than we have ever been. Because it's not gonna be me, it's not gonna be us, you know, reflecting God's glory and exact nature on our own, right? But it's going to be the Holy Spirit doing that and shining forth from within us. So, you know, like we said, this is also going to be a year of us being truly in tune with the Holy Spirit, okay? I really hope this video encouraged y'all in some way. I really just wanted to share an update on how things have been going out here and also of how I'm hoping to be more intentional and obedient to God in this current season. I'd love to hear from y'all too. What is going on in your current season? 
Are there a lot of changes happening or has it been a little bit more steady? And are there any ways that you feel like God is calling you to be bolder in your faith in this current season? I'd love to hear, so please let me know in the comments. And until next time, let's keep fighting the good fight of the faith, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!